Hello guys, thanks for watching this video and today I'm going to show you this sketch here which lights up LEDs one after the other so this LED seems to be broken. Anyway, um, today you'll need 12 LEDs, 25 jumper wires, um, as a mega board, I'll show you why in a second and um, if you want to take your projects on the go, a battery snap and a rechargeable battery oh well not it doesn't have to be rechargeable i just use rechargeable uh, and then a usb cable for connecting it to your computer um, now this is actually quite an easy piece of code it's not too difficult but you need to break it down a little bit to understand it so i'm going to show you why you need the mega board i'm going to show you the code the wiring pretty much everything to do with this project which you can actually find under the examples of the Arduino IDE so if we have a look at the mega board here for a second you see where it says here PWM that means pulse width modulation and pulse width modulation pins you can actually change you can change the amount of electricity that's going out so with the digital it's just on or off with these you can fade anyway um on the uno board it's only got a few pulse width modulation pins and on the mega board it's got loads so you can do this project with the mega board it is possible to do the mega board so um, what you need to do is you need to put your leds in a row and you need to take note of which side is the anode have the anode wired to a digital pin have the cathode wired to ground okay so that's actually really simple i'm going to move that to the side now into my other desk and let's take a look at the code so you need to open up your arduino ide um, and then i'll just show you where you can find the Sorry about this, just give me one second. Right, so if you go up to the top corner here and then good file examples analog, oh, analog, it's there analog right to mega. So open that up, we've already got it opened up here then. And then it says at the top this sketch fades LEDs up uh, and down one at a time on digital pins 2 through 15. Uh, written for the Arduino Mega will not work on previous boards, as I said earlier. And then it's got LEDs attached from pins 2 through 13 to ground. So the first thing you do here is declare the constants, and they won't change. Um, so these to give names of the pins used. So with an integer, uh, with an integer variable, we can change, but the digital pin. Um, the digital pins will not change if the LEDs are attached to, they're not just going to suddenly change. Okay, then in the void setup here, um, we set pins 2 through 13 as outputs. So for um, int this pin equals lowest pin, this pin, highest pin, this pin, plus plus, it's going to kind of go through all the pins uh, and then we're setting them as outputs. So we've made a new variable here, int this pin. And it's equal to all of these here, 2 through to 15. So I'll just go through it one more time in case you didn't understand it. Um, creating a new integer variable, this pin, and it's equal to uh, the lowest pin. It's equal to basically all the pins in between the lowest pin and the highest pin. Then in the void loop, uh, we want to iterate over the pins. So 4 int this pin equals lowest pin this pin um, is at lower than or equal to highest pin this pin plus plus so it's saying basically um, whilst it's in between 2 and 13 just iterate over them and then you want to fade the LED on this pin from off to brightness so for int brightness equals naught, brightness is um, smaller than 255, brightness plus plus, so it's going to go from naught to 255. Okay, so it's just going to go through from naught to 255. And then fade the LED on this pin from, spelling mistake there, brightest to off, so then it's going to fade it down. So then 
4 int brightness equals 255, brightness is greater than 0, brightness minus minus, it's going to go back from um, 255 all the way down to 0. And then you want to pause in between the LEDs. So then that is the sketch. And I'm just going to set up my tripod again. So if I, get it, if I move it back over here, so what it does is it iterates over the pins, it goes over the pins, one after the other, and it goes from uh, 0 to 255, from 255 back down to 0. It's actually quite a simple sketch, but you um, some of it does actually look quite complicated. But once you break it down and you understand that uh, the 4 in this pin equals lowest pin, this pin, lower value equals to highest pin, this pin plus plus and all that stuff. It's basically just going through them and it goes from 0 to 255, 255 to 0. It goes from digital pins 2 down to 13. So that is how you do the analog right mega sketch. Thank you for watching this video um, where we just have a bit of fun with LEDs. And I'll see you next time uh, where, I don't know, Another Arduino project, probably. Or Raspberry Pi. Who knows? Bye.